What's happening, everybody? It's Sean, joined by my daughter, Mackenzie. It's been a while. It has. All right. And today, we are going to have, up on Reactions to the Classics, My Chemical Romance, The Foundations of Decay. Now, for you big MCR fans, like this one right here, you might not be okay. You might even, in fact, not be effing okay, Mackenzie. Is this Maybe. dropped out of nowhere? Yeah, I was at my friend's house. I opened Instagram, and the first thing I see is Mikey Way's post. Um, and it has like a caption where it says like my favorite MCR song, The Foundations of Decay, and it has this cover that I've never seen before. I'm like, this isn't a song that they have. This doesn't exist. And so I go onto Spotify and like, sure, surely not. There's no way that they released something. And they did. And I, I started screaming like. So you were literally not okay. Yeah. They dropped zero hints about this at all. None of them. Because... They split up, and then they're like, okay, we'll go on tour. one tour. One tour. Which We're not going to drop anything. Which has been delayed for there two it years. Is. Yeah, I've been waiting for a while. She's going in in, in uh, October here in, here in Dallas. so Or September. September here in Dallas. Um, so, we're going to have the lyrics up. There's no background to this song. I looked. Like, it's just what Mackenzie just told you. I mean, they just dropped it. So, we'll listen to it. It's about six minutes long. Have the lyrics up, and we'll tell you what we think when it's done.
right, the foundations of decay. Now you've listened to it like twice, right? Yeah, jump- I right away I listened to yeah, it. I, get my, that. I made my friend um, listen to it on her Alexa twice. That was the first time I was listening to it through like AirPods. Right, so. it's a different experience. Mm-hmm. And she had her AirPods, and yeah, I have the headphones because you know. You know, you're a girl, you don't want to mess up the hair and all that stuff. So, uh, first time I heard it, that's a fantastic song. I'll tell you what, so when a band has been gone for so long, it's always dicey, and I'm always kind of like, eh, when I hear that they drop yeah, new material. I was like, it's like, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know here, but... And obviously, Gerard is highly prolific, just creatively, with the Umbrella Academy and mm-hmm. all the other stuff he's got going. So, it's not like the guy's been just sitting back, kicking back, doing nothing to get his mind going. Really well written song, which we'll get into yeah. in a minute. I mean, excellently written song. Didn't seem like six minutes at all. Nice little build. I love songs that build and then boom, we're in it. Mm. But what did, what did you think of it? I mean, you can oh, give this, your final thoughts in a little this bit. The song but, is great. Like I liked it right whenever I first heard yeah, it. I, I think it's fantastic, and you know, it, it has autobiographical parts in here. It's obvious mm. now. Gerard hasn't said at the time of this film what it's about. So I don't want to put too many words in his mouth. But yeah, I there are parts on it I can pick up on. Yeah, as that are as a, as a super fan. Yeah. They're called Killjoys. Killjoys. All right. Well, it's Killjoys. See the man who stands upon the hill as dreams of all the battles won. But fate had left its scars upon his face with all the damage they had done. That is a great opening four lines. And mm-hmm. so with time, with age, he turns the page, let the flesh submit itself to grab. It's hard for a 50-year-old guy to read, man, because that's what... <laughs> That's what's happening. Yeah, so um, right before that, whenever it's just the instrumental part, yeah. that kind of reminded me a bit of Helena, Helena. I don't know how pe- people pronounce it differently. I know. I know they do. Yeah, no, that's a good call on that. And yeah, on that, I can't, I've i read a couple things of what people think that this song could be about. I can see this being about like the band I, itself. Right, like, yeah. Like whenever... Everything they were so popular. Yeah. Everything was great, and then there was problem with it within the band. Gerard was struggling with addiction again, and then everything went down. But so with time, with age, he turns the page. He it's been years. Their last release was twenty fourteen. Yeah, that's a good. Now they're back together. It's a good call. Yeah. Okay. That that seems to make sense. And and yeah, I mean, I think you know with that age comes that wisdom and, and you realize and, and being able to reflect and being away from each other mm-hmm. for so long. Then the chorus, what our bodies lay while our hearts will stay, what our blood invade if I die in vain. Now if your convictions were a passing phase, may our ashes feed the river in the morning rays. And as the vermin crawls, we lay in the foundations of decay. And I think, you know, I mean, it is, you talked about how famous they were. And, you know, I think some of these other things we're about to get into, get into that. But there's a cliche for a reason. If you're at the top of the mountain, there's only one way to go. And when that happens, there's a lot of people that like to start tossing those stones at you, man. Like, oh, yeah, you guys are not. Verse 2 is definitely about Gerard. You know, he, oh, yeah. You, it, could, you can tell right away if you know anything about My Chemical Romance. You'll know that Gerard, whenever he was in New York, he was in art school. And he saw the Twin Towers fall. He saw 9-11. And that gave him lots and lots of inspiration for My Chemical Romance that gave him inspiration to even start the band. And then their first album has tons of elements of that in the songs. Yeah, he has said that he he actually started writing them so that it helped him deal with his PTSD of seeing that. Because, I mean, I saw it on TV as it happened. It was a traumatic experience, still a traumatic... I don't like to watch it if I see it again. So, and at verse two, I won't read all the, all the words to you guys, but he was there the day the towers fell. And so we wandered down the road and we would build all tower towers of our own only to watch the rooms corrode, but it's much too late. You're in the race. So we'll press and press till you can't take it anymore. So I think another thing of like only we built the towers of our own, I think with the band and the popularity only to watch it corrode. Then he gets into the, the chorus again, and it's the same except for the last few lines. And if by his own hand, his spirit flies, take his body as a relic to be canonized. And so he gets to die a saint, but she will always be the horse. That one's a little, a little weird to, uh, to to try to break down. And yeah, those last two lines, I am curious about the, and so he gets to die the same, but she will always be the whore. I have no idea who he's talking yeah, about Yeah, I was there. wondering that. I was wondering that. And it might not be a she, it might actually be something within the band. Mm-hmm. And that's just, and then the bridge comes in and Jared's drumming is just fantastic. And then Frank 
and Ray on the guitar work. So they kind of let them shine for a little bit. It takes a little, another little tempo change. And then we go into verse three and talks about fixing your heart, build an altar to where it was. This verse is so well written with like their word choices and everything. I mean, this whole song. It is. Well, is. read that verse to us. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, it says, you must fix your heart and you must build an altar where it was. When the storm decays at this dying rate, let it flood, let it flood, let it wash away. At last we'll stumble through your last crusade. When you're welcome, when you welcome your extinction in the morning rays, and as the swarming calls to lay in the foundations. Yeah, just fan- the whole song. Mm-hmm. Is, They've is... always been great storytellers, and this song reflects that they are still great at that. W- which in their genre is not always the case, right? Because it's more about the sound, mm-hmm. but they actually their their vocals and their lyrics by Gerard are fantastic. And then the outro, yes, it comforts me much more to lay in the foundations of decay give up killing so overall for this old man fantastic song um i mean that's that's all we really know about it what, what's your you got any final thoughts on gerard's vocals they're more intense than they were like before yeah he does have this song i'm not gonna try to say it, it has accents and stuff it's like Ronan, R-O-N-I-N. Yeah. Um, and he did it with his friend whose name I'm not even going to attempt to ina- like pronounce. It's, I don't know. but Because yeah. um, it was his friend's song and he's on that. And that's like a like heavy metal song. Okay. So um, his friend's like vocals aren't on that, but his are. Like it's very intense. Not to this extremity, but that was pretty recent. Okay. And so it just kind of reminded me of that. And... I was happy to hear that he doesn't even like sound older in this. No. I, I was wondering that, but no. But I think when you lay off for eight years, it helps because mm-hmm. yeah, that's the other thing, man. The voice just gets worn out, right? But he sound this sounds like it could have come out in two thousand and six. Yeah. That's how good it sounds in a very good way. So this could be one of my eventually one of my like top MCR songs. I can see that because it's a six minute epic, right? There's places for two and a half minute songs that are just catchy and let's go. Mm -hmm. But a six minute epic that's written as well, the instrumentation is fantastic. Really well done on the production. And as a 15 year old, I didn't get to be a fan of them whenever they were releasing music. And so... I don't know. They're like one of my favorite bands. There always is like disappointment whenever you think about that. Like, wow, I am never going to hear these people release new music i will never get to experience that that's why i was freaking out so much whenever i saw that because they said they've like said that they didn't plan on releasing anything new that right. they had no hints towards that so with this it's like is there more to come for this i mean they have a tour yeah. coming up tonight they're performing somewhere and same with on sunday so they're i've seen like on their page they're performing at like more and more like festivals right. and places so maybe and, maybe they'll drop a new album before yeah. you go see them. I've they also um, posted a couple like newer pictures. I don't know when it was. It was like today or something. But um, they Gerard looks young now. Huh? Like get, get off that he, hard living, Mackenzie. Like with the hair, he's getting like the emo hair again. Yeah, that that you get off that hard clothes, living, man. Yeah. It, it takes the it takes the years off it. I understand that journey because throughout this channel, there's so many great artists that were around when I was alive that I never listened to. And now I go through the same, man, I'm never going to get to hear these guys. So let us know what you think of this thing. And don't worry, this is not our last MCR. We did do a a reaction to the song Cancer, like maybe a year ago. It's got a ton of views. Check that out when we're done here. But we're also going to drop a full album reaction to Welcome to the Black Parade. One of my favorite albums ever. Probably this month. Look for it in the next three mm-hmm. to four weeks. So, Mackenzie, thank you always mm-hmm. for joining Very me. Very excited to see what they have, hopefully have for us next. <laughs> yes, I know. And if they do, just rest assured, tune right back in right here, and uh, we will be on it. Uh, please give us a thumbs up for this vid and a subscribe if you haven't already. We've got over 1,600 videos. There'll be something you like, not just the MCR reactions, guys. And until next time, we will see you.